and our sign language interpreter this evening is Damien Evans. Now, President William Ruto has ordered investigations into cases of alleged extrajudicial killings by police officers. In his very first Mashuja Day celebrations address to the nation, the president reiterated his commitment to reforming the police service to guarantee a professional criminal justice system. The head of state also used the opportunity to outline his plan on a number of issues, among them the construction of 100 dams across the country to boost irrigation and to counter perennial food shortage. KTS political affairs reporter Daniel Karioki attended the celebrations at the Uhuru Gardens and filed this report. In his first Mashija Day address to the nation, President William Luto engaged a high gear after disbanding the dreaded Special Service Unit, SSU, by ordering investigations into activities by the unit. SSU is accused of engaging in extrajudicial activities. I have directed that immediate measures be undertaken to disband the Special Services Unit in the Directorate of Criminal Investigation and with urgency investigations must be commenced so that those found culpable are held to account. Ruto says professional police service should not resort to disastrous policies like extrajudicial murder as part of policing. The president is keen on ensuring that the criminal justice system is run professionally. There must also be robust mechanisms throughout the police service to maintain high professional standards, scrupulous adherence to the rule of law, accountability for actions and decisions, and operational transparency. The president has laid out a raft of measures his administration has put in place to combat the high cost of living by revamping the agriculture sector. Ruto says the government will initiate public-private partnership to deliver 100 dams in a bid to progressively increase land and irrigation as an intervention to enhance food security. Rising food prices have made an already bad situation worse. Irrigation is the ultimate solution in guaranteeing food security in our country. It would be possible to progressively irrigate the 3 million acres already identified as irrigable land. President Ruto says his government is considering partnering with East African community member states to manufacture fertilizer and distribute it to the countries at lower costs than the imported variety. We have also made arrangements to make another 6 million bags of various types of fertilizer available for the long rain season. We have also asked county governments to work with us on the last mile delivery to centers close to farmers so that fertilizer can be easily accessible. Ruto has vowed to speed up the much needed National Health Insurance Fund NHIF reforms, committing in making the fund all inclusive. We shall change the contribution structure from an individual contributory scheme to a household contributory model. He also expressed his commitment to motivate healthcare workers by addressing their grievances and employing more health workers. His first national event and President William Ruto is optimistic of changing Kenyan's lives by ensuring he tackles cost of living, housing, health, among other issues as outlined in his manifesto. Focus now shifts to how his administration will implement the same. Daniel Karioki, KTN News. Uhuru Gardens, Nairobi. And as Kenyans mark Mashuja Day celebrations tonight.